Greetings, everyone. Welcome. We are continuing to explore this complicated and slanted format that is Acoria Lair of Behemoths. We are monitoring the health of the format by keeping our eye on cycling. How powerful is it? How many decks does it support in a pod? What should we be doing around drafting it? How hard should we be pursuing it? Where should we be taking these cycle one cards? That was what we were talking about before we uh, flipped on to YouTube mode here. So we decided, well, let's just let's just draft and then we'll talk about it as it comes up. Right. But we are uh, we're it's it, we're in a shifting meta right now as more and more people are learning about and coming to understand the power of the cycling deck, but also coming to understand its weaknesses and its beatability. Uh, if you get uh, if you face a cycling deck, try not to be too dis depressed at first. They might have a bad one. There are bad ones out there that have very few payoffs. Uh, if you can kill the, the key payoffs that are creatures, you can manage a cycling deck. And, and they don't all have Zenith Lair either. Often uh, they do not even have that card, so you're not going to be burned out by at the end. But you face a great one, you're going to lose, whatever. The point is, uh, try to uh, let's we're, we're going to we're going to keep our resolve when we face a cycling deck if we are not one ourselves or if even if we are anyway um i'm gonna thank my sponsor card kingdom here they are my favorite place to get physical magic stuff on the internet you can find them at my panel down below it says card kingdom right down there you click on it it gets there from here they know you got there from here that helps my stream and then when you get there you're going to see just one of the best websites for purchasing magic stuff on the internets, they have everything you need and they're gonna get it to you as fast as they can. They are taking orders and shipping them as soon as possible. And uh, the, any COVID related delays are updated and explained and their expectations are set clearly on the website. So you can go there and check that out. And I would appreciate that from me. We have a uh, 10,000 gold built up here on our free to play account. So we get a, a free shot at some gems today. Uh, this is the, this is the big, this is the big thing that makes free to play possible and the big thing that allows me to have 32,000 gems even though I've only bought the welcome bundle on this account it's the it's the the gold they pay us to play and then every once in a while we get to enter in with gold and to me when I click on the gold button this is a free draft uh, I think that's a good mentality to have about it to remind yourself that it is free to play over time you do get free drafts to participate in and this one is free cuz we didn't we didn't buy this gold we earned it via play Thanks, Wizards, for giving us a way to free-to-play magic. So uh, we'll get draft view up here, and shortly we should see this pod fill. It has not been taking a long time. Yeah, Snare Tactician, we were debating, I think, yesterday on, like, whether Snare Tactician or, like, the 2-2 uh, the red... Cycle Pinger was better. Thanks, Arch Archangel, for the sub. Appreciate that. And I strongly argued for Snare Tactician over the cycle Red Cycle Pinger because when when Snare when I draw Snare Tactician, I'm like, oh, thank God. Okay, whew, we're good. You know, <laughs> like I feel like I can't lose when I have Snare Tactician and they haven't killed it. Oh yeah, Mensch, I want to do as many of those streamer drafts as I can. I like Swallow Hole potentially out of this pack. Um, the Unpredictable Cyclone to me is a uh, is just a cycle two card. It's not a priority pick. Boneyard Lurker is good if we want to try uh, a different direction. Uh, but I, be, again, I like leaning into cards that I would play in a cycling deck. I would play this in a not cycling deck, but I would play it in a cycling deck. And I think this card goes way too late. This is excellent removal. It is, uh, you know, they do, the thing has to be tapped and sometimes that's annoying. If you have snare tactics, it makes it easy. But uh, <clears throat> I I am off, I am rarely disappointed with this card. Only sometimes they have so much untapped stuff or whatever that it just doesn't seem to be doing what I want. Um, and here, see, I just, how do I not take, oh, would you like a Thunder Mane payoff as a as kind of, seventh eighth best payoff or just a cycle one first uh there's also another cycle one here there's a symbiote there's archie if we but i'm gonna i don't feel like i can pass the thunder main squad would be your pick oh whisper squad one of the reasons i'm thinking of taking the the main over a one is that this 
is a pretty loud cycling signal. Oh, for the, the human uh, the human deck? Don't we want to try and wheel these, or are these rising up in people's pick orders? Um, I'm going to take the Thunder Mane. There's uh, three cycle ones here. Maybe one of them comes back. If not, that's certainly something to uh, to to know. So we took Thunder Mane pick two and passed three cycle ones. Let's see what, if any, comes back from that. Uh, here's a cycle one for that path. Back, if we had started black green we'd have a great black green deck started uh but i feel like i'm headed towards this now and should should at least ride it out a little bit more this is a little bit of a, a sign essence scatter is good but i think we should go at least one more towards the cycling here you want back for more really it's, it's like we're, we're discarding our whole start I guess we could, but man, cycling one, if this is, it's so cr critical for it working. Um, so is that, all right, fine. Chat wants to take this. I think we're just going to regret not having a startling development myself. But I'll let chat influence me here. If I'm drafting alone, I'm not taking this. I, I was just snapping up the cycle one. Uh, here's a Moloch on the cycle plan, uh, shredded sales cycles. Here's a whisper squad. We were just talking about that. Uh, Fertilid makes more sense to me if we want to support the back for more pick. Um, uh, it might, you might play swallow hole and back for more, but, um, yeah, I, I'm just going to take the Moloch. I should have taken cycle one. You guys are wrong. Well, here's a flame spill. That's a good sign. Well, and here we go. <laughs> flame spill, classically great removal. Go for blood, cycling one, lava serpent, excellent playable cycling two. Uh, we want to try and be a cycling deck, I think. Um, but I and that's and that's how crazy this format is, right? That now we got to take the playable cycling one red. It's just crazy to me that uh, that this is. Uh, eh, I, I gr if this were um, the two mana deal three, I think it would be a better pick. That that would be a pick. Uh, lazy. It's not crazy if you don't have if you have a bunch of sting a bunch of uh, tappers, then you don't need. Um, the removal. If you don't have the snare tacticians, you do need removal. Yeah, Mike, I agree. I think it's very, uh, very tough. Uh, a tough call between this, the cycling two serpent and cycling one stuff. I'm gonna take the leak here, though. Uh, I love, I, I, I don't know what you all are thinking about uh, the tap lands, the, the red or white tap lands in the cycling deck, but I'm really liking it because it allows you to cast those uh, random two mana cyclers off color that you have. We do want one cathartic reunion, but we don't want a bunch. Um, Media dislikes them a lot. I'm finding them really good. Uh, they they just, like, I've been playing the, uh, the Wilt. Um, yeah, I kind of want the the cliffs. I, I've been liking them a lot, so I'm gonna, especially the blue ones. Uh, the blue is the has the most stuff you'd want to cast. Uh, here we can take like a tigerilla hedge. Here's commando. We could also, um, potentially even still backdoor into swallow hole memory leak back for more and actually have a, a commando deck. Mike wants the pyro over the tigerilla. Kind of feel like I don't know how often this is going to be four power, whereas this is four power right away. We can take pyro. Seems like chat wants pyro, but I'm going to, we'll, if we play it, I want to take a look at that and see how often it's better than a tigerilla. See, this is the kind of tap land I don't want because it, uh, it does, it's not white or red. Um, protocol, maybe I'll take the poacher here, actually. Um, 
we uh, we could pivot. It, like if the, if cycling dries up, it's not too late to get out of it and move into uh, something black, green, white. So let's take poacher just in case we are completely cut off from cycling from here somehow. But here's, uh, we're talking about, are we gonna get any of the cycling one back? And we did, there were three in the pack and one of them came back, but it's the worst one. So, um, which is what you'd expect. Well, let's see, this makes me wanna take a naturalist here. Again, I can see a world in which we abandon our current path and get back onto, get a, get a black green thing going. So let's keep that possible and on that front we'll just take a fully grown here i don't really ever want a spontaneous flight in um in cycling mike wanted the raptor i sure hope we don't have to play the raptor but we'll see all right we have a cycle one, which I will reserve. But now what do you want to do here, folks? We've got, uh, if we want to pivot towards black, there's Dire Tactics. Uh, dire Tactics is excellent, although we're, we're not really heavy white. Um, yeah, we have uh, Moloch. I, I guess if we uh, take a, a cycling card, we should, we should go for the Moloch. Uh, it's really good in the cycling deck. And di yeah, Dire Tactic is a human's play. You can shout out suggestions. I don't really have time to pull it, but if anybody wants to tell me if they think we should be pivoting to Tactics or sticking to Moloch, I think we should probably stick to Moloch because we're pretty clearly red. Flipperoo doesn't play to Moloch? Huh, I do. All right, enough people want Moloch. We'll go with that. Prophecy seems nice. What are we giving up to take a Prophecy? Not much. Here's a Highlands that might wheel, a coordinated charge that might wheel. Oh, but there's a, uh, should we take Gigan? Look at that. Jeez. Well, we're about to pass it. It's kind of tempting, but really? Really? You want to pivot to it just just because of that? Like, we don't have any of that. We don't have that color. <laughs> like, we we have back for more, yeah. No, I think... I think we're going to be disciplined. Bye. Bye. Jungle Hollow. Here's a Wilt. Like this is, I've been enjoying being able to cast a wilt, you know, with a, a green, red tap land or whatever. Uh, fight is one. You do get a lot of uh, human, non-human in the deck. Maybe we should take, uh, worth a pivot to black, red. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we take another naturalist. I think fight is one is, we'll wheel the wilt probably. Naturalist. Uh, we'll wheel the tiger too. I'm gonna take fight as one. all this like it's almost like whatever we take, we wheel something else. We're very early in pack two. Yeah, maybe I'll just get punished and we'll learn something on that, right? That's fine. I'm in. We could take Starix. Yeah, I think we have to pivot now, right? We uh, So I do wish we had that Naturalist. Maybe, but people aren't taking green in this draft, so maybe the Naturalist even wheels. New plan, of course, then I get tempting cycling stuff. This is a great card in the cycling deck. Uh, if we're green, we're kind of being Jundish, right? Uh, we could take a dead weight here over like a wag or a piercer. You want the wag? All right, we can take the wag. I guess we can uh, try and mutate onto it.
So do we want to nip her here or do we want to take a friendship? I guess this is where if we're pivoting away from cycling, we need to figure out um, whether we're base gruel or base Golgari. And friendship is base gruel, nipper base Golgari. So I'm trying to take a look here. But I guess we're base gruel, right? If we're realistic. So I'll take that. Uh, Far Finder is going to be good for us here. Yeah, that's what I'm arriving at, Mike. And Far Finder is going to help us with that splash. What we want here, Coil Bug is not the right core pair. We could take Monstrous Step. Uh, one thing about Step is like you could cycle it and you can cast it later with the Mollocks. Yeah, Mammoth is better than expected, but is it better than taking a step here? I don't have a ton of interaction. Oh, sorry. This is why I don't like taking that card, though. Greater Sandworm makes me not want to take Mammoth. Oh, we did take the Mammoth. Looks like I picked, I switched picks. Naturalist did come back for us. We're going to take that here. I think we want that over Brushwag, right? Accelerating out our big stuff is going to be one way to recover from this uh, train wrecked cycling deck. We can take the land, but I, I think we need spells here. Ooh, this is it. Now, this is a place where, like, the, the splash land is more tempting to me than, uh, especially now we have two naturalists. I think we can take the. Uh, the tap land, but also we're going to be short playables here, um, given what we did early. So I'm a little torn, but I guess I'll take the land there. Hey, Symbiote's nice. That's a great late pick for us. And we did find our lane, so that's good. You can probably uh, take a corpse churn and splash that. Best of one, I'm going to play a corpse churn over a plummet, but I'll start it in the board. We can kind of do this, although we don't have the white. Uh, and is it good enough? I don't think it's probably good enough here. Probably just want to ram through. I want to do some ultimatum casting at some point in this uh, darn set, but this just doesn't look like <sighs> it's close. But yeah, the white is we're just not near the white, right? We don't want to push ourselves towards it. So we're going to take ram through. Maybe wheel a leech, question mark. Thornwood Falls, be able to blue. Yeah, maybe this wheels. Pick one, pick three, ultimatum is hard unless you're just literally in those colors, right? Uh, I think we want to fire prophecy over another migration, over a migration path, but maybe this comes around for us. But fire prophecy, too good. Weird deck, never really been Gruel before, but we went for cycling and it failed hard, so here we are. Take a Porky Parrot. Uh, we are splashing some black, we think. Definitely for back for more. So if we got like a cycle Death Toucher or something, uh, getting a machine gun going, the Parrot seems fine. We have three Prophecy? We just have two, right? No, we didn't, we don't have a Nipper. This is an interesting removal spell for the deck. Cathartic Reunion could help uh, smooth us out in the middle. Ram through plus Colossification. That is cool. That is funny. Doesn't seem amazing, but it seems great. Uh, this is just classic strikeout home run card. If you Generally, if you resolve it, I mean, it's got a middle ground, I guess. It's got the double of I make them fight and theirs dies and mine doesn't, which is pretty weak for five mana, but it's not awful. Um, I don't know what else we take, though. You want to take Mutual Destruction? Well, 
bargain is inter excuse me interesting to me. We could also still take the forbidden friendship. I haven't really played Clash in a while, but I don't know what else we're supposed to do with that pick. You want to? Yeah, it's either another forbidden friendship or this dark bargain. Uh, Stampede is interesting. I never feel like I have enough creatures to make that work. I'm not sure we have it here. Aj wants the stamp. I'm going to take Dark Bargain. That's more guaranteed packs. It, like, Stampede is drawing cards, right? So is Dark Bargain, but it's like, it's, I like the reliability of the bargain in terms of getting what I expect out of it. Uh, here's another one. Maybe we just take a uh, Shredded Sails. Yeah, we could do Poacher. It's not really our main color, but we... Uh, sorry, we, I mean, we could do the bug for the poacher, even though it's not really our main color. But I think that's almost fancy play. I'd, ra like, I'd rather just get some cards from the Dark Bargain rather than uh, press our splash anymore. Kind of makes me want to splash these, really. Yeah, Claws isn't bad in our deck. Double strike with all the fatties. But I suppose I just feel like uh, Claws is kind of win more. Um, we could take Fumes. This is not bad in best of one to just have available to wreck oppos with. We do have Sandworm and Mammoth already, but it looks like I ran out of time. Keep doing that. I gotta be careful. Um, I don't think we want that. We're not doing anything with blue, right? So we don't need this land. We probably just want an Impulse. Um, or, yeah, we can take the Crystal. I think we just want the Impulse, though. This is pretty castable for us, but we're not really doing a big menace thing. Yeah, a lot of wingspan mentors. I think we just want to leech for a late haha -ha gotcha. Another mammoth, another leech though. I guess if we play another six, it'll be another leech. Yeah, I want that uh, red four damage spell back now, given where our deck ended up. We already have two mammoths. I'm not going to take a third mammoth. I'm not going to take this third mammoth. I think if we play anything here, it'd be another boar, but we don't want boar either. Like, there's just no way we play a third mammoth in this deck, right? We've got two leeches and a sandworm. All right, all right, all right. Actually, see, I don't even want this. I want the Cathartic Reunion. All right, this deck is garbage. No, nah, I don't think we want Thwart over Reunion. Yeah, the blue... I think blue-green was really the lane to find in this, uh, in this one. I don't think I'm going to run Trap. I know we don't have great removal, but we have Clash and... and Ram through and two fire prophecy, so. And I'm never playing the gremlin. I, really? Never. I'm just never playing that. All right, let's try and make some sense of this. Ah, hindsight, Zori. I'm glad the deck you drafted in your head is awesome. Maybe even run a Footfall Crater uh, for, like, might actually cast it. <laughs> you know, given one of these haste could... I tried Thwart the Enemy, and it was uh, too situational. It's not that it's wildly unplayable, uh, but that even as a, quote, fixed fog, you still need very specific things to take place for it to do good work for you. Yes, we can. You said trample trick, and I was like, ram through? Are you kidding? Oh, no, you mean this, yes. <laughs> uh, let's cut that. Let's cut. Yeah, I agree on poacher. Well, although, you know, we can still do poacher. We're just not doing, um, we're not making tokens and stuff. You really want poacher for the for the tokens. <laughs> Dionysus, you come in and say the opposite of whatever I do. Do you realize that? I'm going to mute you right now, and I'm going to call you out. 
and then we're going to move on because you're really frustrating me, D. Uh, when I'm not cycling, you come up and ask me why I'm not cycling. And when I cycle, you tell me I'm cycling. When I do it, you tell me I'm doing it too much. Sit the hell down and shut up. Stop telling me what I need to do. Especially because it's always just the opposite of whatever I'm doing today. Stop showing up and telling me to do the opposite of what I'm doing. Uh, what are we cutting on our big end? We don't want all these, right? Um, yeah, we can cut the leak, although it's not bad. It's weird. I uh, don't, don't want all these boars. We definitely don't need that. I can just cut that for now. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk about it. But uh, yeah, no problem, Flip. I, I love what you've been contributing to the conversation. Thanks for hanging and giving good thoughts. Um, one man. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's cut a mammoth. I I think we could do two leech, one mammoth, one sandworm, and that's the correct amount of high end. We got got the Starix as well. Uh, all right, we're close. Maybe let's look at our numbers too. 15, 12. Let's cut some non creatures. Maybe I just have to give up on the crater. Yeah, we can go get rid of the impulse. Um, I want to keep the reunion, but we could get rid of the sales. I also want to keep the go for blood. Uh, we're getting there now. And with uh, with two naturalists and a far finder, we could argue for 16 and the uh, the dark bargain. We also have uh, cycle one here. Uh, we have a cathartic reunion here. And we have a lot of cycle two lurking around. Trying not to be too greedy about my lands and use use cycling as just an excuse to be uh, uh, <laughs> irresponsible. But I do believe that naturalist, cycle one, cycle two, far finder, uh, all suggest, uh, here's another cycle two. All of this suggests to me that we can do 16 and we can be okay. Yeah, we could cut something off the top and bring back in something like a memory leak. It uh, helps support the 16 land. Yeah, we could cut reunion or it's kind of funny. We like we cut reunion. <laughs> Either we cut reunion and stay at 17 or we cut a land. Yeah, like maybe we just um, have to do like this. What if we did cut reunion, added a leak? And then cut, you know, cut the land down. Yeah, I guess we took friendship. It's curve filling. And it does allow for a star X mutation, but we have some. We already have some stuff to do that on. AVB wants to cut a leech reduce our uh, our splash while others are saying get rid of the friendship and increase our splash but this is a good good splash yeah this is this is not a two drop right so no big deal the trouble is uh it is reducing what we're doing early now we have really leaning on these naturalists and waggy i guess we have cycling So we're close, like, what do we think of this? Adjust this a little bit. Uh, 
Yeah, how many swamps were we planning on playing? Um, Farfinder gets five. Fi, Farfinder gets one. Naturalist doesn't cast. Naturalist is terrible at uh, being our splash, except for leeches, right? So, naturalist. Yeah. Uh, although, what are we poaching? My problem is this isn't. It's not like we have a bunch of stuff we're looking to sacrifice to draw cards with. So maybe we have to play more swamps here if we do it this way. A second, at least a second swamp. And this gives us uh, how many? This is 17. Yes, they do. But since it's best of one, I'm not going to count on that. It's just something that uh, can be a nice interaction. Uh, all right, Mike really wants the poacher. Well, what's your cut? You want to actually cut the bargain? Yeah, I didn't. I I don't like this pyro. I think you're probably right there. Like, what's what's our instant sorcery? We have nine. We have nine pyro, and we're gonna be cycling some of them. I like cutting the pyro, but maybe we just bring in a bristling boar to uh, stay on uh, stay on curve a little better. Or we can use that to bring in, maybe that's our excuse to bring in the poacher and I can keep my dark bargain too. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I just think this bargain will be good for us. Uh, this does the thing, you know, uh, we can pitch a mammoth to the graveyard for the back for more or whatever. All right, I'm starting to like this. 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm going to say done just so I can come back in and have it be more... Uh, Yeah, maybe the bargain is it. Maybe it's Clash of Titans. But we don't have a lot of interaction again. We can cut this memory leak again. I think I'm going to cut... Uh, yeah, cut the leak. It is kind of clunky. I'm going to start here. I want to get going. Um... Now it looks black, green, red. I don't know. With the two fire prophecies, Porky Parrot, and the Clash. I mean, the Clash is double red. We could do this. We can get rid of it to really reduce the lean how much we need to lean on red, and then we can even up the, the mana a little bit and be green. You know, heavy green, light black, red. Uh, in that case, we could add back in that Mammoth. Mm, I didn't see the boxed in. Uh, what's the meme? Give me a meme. Tell me what meme you need and I'll hook it up. I don't like anything like we're this deck is super awkward all over the place. Brushwag is one of those places, um, but at least does a reasonable late game thing uh but maybe like what do you we could cut it for what then we're just then like what are we doing here again to, to we could go memory leak cut the brush wag yeah mike's right it's a it's a decent mana sink impulse All right, uh, failed. I 
let's see. Um, abandonment. Abandonment issues. Uh, anybody who redeems stuff, now is your time. I heard dealer's choice on land, so I'm going to take care of that now. I think we want, um, oh, Croker has lands. I thought somebody said dealer. Well, uh, all right. So let's see. We'll go, how do I say Dominaria? Can I just say Dominaria only? No? All right. I guess not. So now I got to find Dominaria. Where the heck is Dominaria? Anybody got it? Oh, there's one. And I think we go three, like nine, nine, five, four. What do you think of that? Make sure we get these naturalists down. I feel like we're going to flood. It just feels floody to me, but okay. Let's get at least, let's get started. Um... Flip wants to cut Swamp Ad Mountain, what, for the fi Fire Prophecy access? I mean, that's the only thing you're talking about. Like, Porky Parrot, we can cycle these. So, like, Porky Parrot and Fire Prophecy are the only things in red that can't be cycled. So, I don't know why I should be pushing up uh, mountains, Flip. All right, Mike. Mike says flooding is good. You heard it here. Oh, was there a, again, I don't know if there was some bling, but let's see, um, we'll go. Yeah, I almost want, think we have too many mountains and we should put another forest in, but we'll, we'll keep this. Yuck, I don't like this one. We were punished for our cycling greed, or I was. Not everybody wanted to follow me down that path. And now uh, we have a mediocre deck. Not that it can't win, just mediocre. I'm gonna give you a... Uh... Yeah, I was gonna find my poll, but I'm just gonna get my stuff updated here. We got uh, Battlefield right. There we go. All right, what do we got here? I guess with the Moloch, we've got to keep, or we got a sandworm we can cycle, so we'll keep this. Got our colors. Cycle sandworm and then cast it later with Moloch, maybe? Depends on whether we can find something else to do on five. What was Voxy in? I didn't see anything from Voxy and Deathsea.
Could cycle the gopher blood and then use it with the Moloch later too. But I think we'll just start with the sandworm here. Well, wait to do it at the end of our turn, as is proper, end of their turn. That's some pressure. It's not a great card, but we are sitting here ramping while Oppo is pressuring. Um, I'm going to cycle the gopher blood here, looking for something like a naturalist. Really? I, you know, you look at what's happening here, Flip. We can't just sit here doing nothing. You want to cast this? I, that's a long way off for what Oppo is doing. Gopher Blood, I felt like, had actually a chance of being played here. Uh, that if we found one of our mid-range creatures, we might actually cast the Gopher Blood, so I wanted to save it. That's what I was thinking. Also, again, if we want to cast the Gopher Blood, I like casting Moloch targeting Gopher Blood, and then we get to use Moloch and Gopher Blood on uh, turns, you know, turn five into turn six. Well, what we really want is a turn four play. And I, I don't want to cycle the Moloch yet because it's going to be our turn five play if we if we brick here. Not a brick. Uh, it's having two mammoths is likely to help us uh, recover our life total in a couple of turns. At least they're not adding humans, so this sergeant's only getting in for three. If this was a good humans deck, <laughs> we'd be wrecked right now. Thing is, Flip, they wouldn't even matter if this deck, if our opponent's deck was better. We'd be already dead. We're getting saved by a weakish deck. And what we have to decide next is whether we're going, um, like whether we're trying to cast Honey Mammoths on six or whether we, because I think we're going to want to go Moloch, target Gopher Blood, and then cast the Gopher Blood on six. Mike says four, four, six, 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 six. So Mike is like, don't worry about the Gopher Blood. We'll, we'll target it and see. Maybe we'll draw, it, like if we draw a four drop or something, then we'd want a four drop Gopher Blood, right? But we're setting ourselves up here to uh, a really dangerous position for the deck trying to stabilize, where we're going to, quote, stabilize, but at a place where it could all fall apart pretty quickly. But hopefully uh, Virtual 8 Life is enough to keep us in it. If they can't remove the Moloch and this holds back all attacks, then I think I do just go for blood killing the sergeant while we have an upper hand. But yeah, this says, nope, no time for go for blood. You need mammoth, mammoths. Naturalist, you are wildly late. Go home. Um... We could go for blood here and play the naturalist and block though. Should we do that? We're at five. They go, we go to four when they drain, but then they can just attack. Like we need life, I guess. But if we can survive a turn, or we, we're just dead. Well, right, but flip, we have to watch out for this, right? So if we, we, we blood and kill the naturalist or the sergeant, we go to four. We play our dude out. They attack with everything. We block one. It dies. And we go to three, two, one. And then we can untap and go back to five and maybe be stable. 
So we can do that. And I think that's, it's uh, it's right in the edge, but it's a, it's a plan. Obviously, they removed the naturalist and we're effectively dead. Although even then, I think Mammoth comes down and potentially gives us another turn. Yeah, we could consider blocking the serval, but we do need to kill these things eventually. So... Uh, I think we have to block to kill. Although we should... Oh yeah, with humans though, they might have human pumping, so we should uh, take the human. We can kill the fox, but humans are actually look like more of a threat here than uh, than the fox. Bush meat poacher is huge. Is it the play? Now we need to do mammoth here, but then if we can survive poacher into untapped po well, we need to go mammoth mammoth, but then poacher maybe gives us Moloch sack. And we're in a spot to go to one again here if they don't have removal. Because if they attack with everything, we take two, one power, go to three, two things die, and we go two, one, but we're not dead. Hmm. Nah, that just wrecked us. I think this card is not very good, but it's going to do work here. So now we need to block the 1-4 like that for sure and do that. And we're still just dead, right? Yeah, we're still dead. It's what we've got, though. Now, got too slow, too slow. Yikes. That is... Honestly, an embarrassing looking deck to lose to, but ours is an embarrassing looking deck to win with. So <laughs> I, I'm not slamming oppo. I think both of us had pretty loud. Both of us, in fact, looked like we had maybe failed cycling decks, right? The Bastion did a lot of work there. I'm uh, not going to get two drafts today, Fiddles. I got a bunch of stuff to do today. So this is, and with a long stream yesterday, this is going to be a, if anything, a shorter than usual stream. Bad might be strong. Medium. It didn't, it didn't look good, though. It did not look cohesive. When you go cat into sergeant or whatever, into far, far finder, like, I don't know. It did, it did not look good to me, but... Like, if I had in the dark to take their deck or our deck, I would still keep our deck. That's where I'm at. We'll keep this, though. Uh, Tupperware won last night. Yeah, exactly. Ba if they don't have Bastion, we could just come back and win that game. Probably just Fire Prophecy that both uh, gets rid of one of these forests and uh, saves the ram through for something bigger. But I am going to kill it. And I'm going to pitch one of these forests for it.
Well, I guess I'll just ram through that. And then probably cycle one Moloch for the to cast the other. Because we can go cycle a Moloch, ram through. Next turn, cast Moloch, target Mullet, and then cast Moloch. So we basically get a card and, uh, you know, so I think that's definitely the plan. Uh, and if we're going to do that, we should cycle first then, in case we want to do something besides the ramming speed after this. Like, maybe we find the other uh, Fire Prophecy and do that instead. Yeah, they can't kill. If they kill the Moloch, we just get to start looping. Hey, fool. Welcome. Glad you could join us. Okay. At some point we might be able to, but we're probably not going to do it here. Although, yeah, I suppose we could uh, if we, but yeah, I mean, this has to die for that to, although we'll attack. I'm going to send in my Moloch, see if they want to do it. Yeah, not this game. Oh, mistake. Oh yeah, you figured it out just in time. Do it. Darn it. Uh, we'll, we'll Moloch, and then we get a leech for that Wolverine after. That sounds cool, true. I haven't really been in the... Uh, I haven't resolved a Channeled Force yet, this format. One of the cards I disagreed with Marshall and Luis on, they thought it was great. I thought it was um, awkward. Can be great, but, like, can be super awkward, too. Well, with that, we can just uh, leech. Ah, eh, I don't know why I would wait. Uh, their shields are down. They're a blue deck. Let's just kill that thing, right? Well, they kind of had a little bit of best case scenario mentality about it, I think. They were thinking about. They were talking about it like, uh, oh, it's you're gonna do this, 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 and. Or if you, uh, it's great, you know, you can save your lands and get rid of lands and you get spells back. So they were thinking of it as like, um, not only do I burn something huge, but I replace a bunch of unwanted stuff with wanted stuff. And that's a fine use case when it comes up, but it doesn't always play like that is the thing. And we're just going to, again, leech ahead of things here. Might even just get a scoop with this. All right, well, we're not going to offer with this uh, salvaged cycling deck. Yeah, exactly. I think Hypothesizzle is significantly better, although Hypothesizzle is five mana, too, so there's that. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. Hope you're having a good time.
Thank you, Dragon. All right, this is a good keep. Symbiote, Mutate, Parrot, Moloch, etc., etc. I mean, it's a... We're setting us up, up for a two-for-one, too, but on the play, like, I think we're just going to put Ferg Blaster to the test here. Wow, we can even pair it and just ping that thing as a or attack for four. What do you think? Ping or attack for four? Yeah, I don't think we have the ability to give this parrot death touch, but I was looking for it. Now, if they kill this, it's a two for two as well, so that's nice. Yeah. No, we looked at a nipper, but uh, didn't end up with one. Oppo giving us that if we want it. Do we want it? What are they trying to do here? I guess we go naturalist. Yeah, I'll keep doing this. He's resting. There we go. They got the mutate base out from under it, made him hard cast. And we could Moloch here, but there's no value in it. I'm just going to attack with Parrot, and, uh, well, yeah, there's value in having a 4-4, I suppose. Maybe I'm just being greedy. Uh, yeah, there's value in a 4-4. We'll just cast a 4-4 and be happy with it, but get in for 4. I just want to be... I'm just greedy, Mike. But not so greedy I can't figure it out eventually. Yeah, we could churn it, etc. But like, we might whiff on a churn. And we could cycle and churn, but that's spin. Like, I think in this case, that's just spinning wheels. When we, we can actually just put a thing down and go. If we find find a basic land here, okay, didn't get a basic land. If we did, we could have just picked off the nipper with a leech. As it is, we're going to pick off the nipper with the parrot so that we can still attack. And if they want to trade um, Moloch for Great Horn, we'd be down for that. If I could cast back for more, yeah, but, but like we have time to do that. Um, we'll we'll do that at the end of their turn. I don't mind the Moloch dying. We have another one. We might end up recasting our own Moloch after it's dead. We have the corpse turn to get it back now. So uh, I like that too. So we at least for sure have something to corpse churn. I could have main phase corpse churned in case we found a creature we wanted to cast, I suppose. Yeah, Mike, Mike caught it before uh, before I did. All right, that's big, but we can handle that. In fact, we're going to sneaky get that with a leech at some point. We're going to leave the sandworm, of course, because we have back for more. And this is a couple lands away, but that'll be nice. And let's get the poacher. And then, like, the turn the naturalist into a card. Moloch. 
Yeah, I'm liking Poacher. Find our other Moloch later and get this one back then. Farfinder here is solid. I think we want that to set up the back for more. And then we'll bring down the Poacher later to like eat the Naturalist once uh, that is... He's done his work. Um, it depends on how you're splashing it. I don't like running a, a go goalie. Uh, I can't read your name because of the color of the font. But uh, if I have blue, white, or blue, red tap lands, then I do like trying to cast the ominous seas sometimes. Um, yeah, all right, let's uh, let's get. Yeah, we'll get the leeches online, and then uh, after that, get back for more online. Kind of want another swamp here with the way this hand is shaping up, although we're never really double casting any of these, so I'll go with the mountain. Yeah, I, I I have, but I even have put, I have put up to one island in a deck when I thought Ominous Seas was really important for my win conditions. That's another factor, Go. Goliath, uh, is that um, if you don't have good win conditions, you may need to support it to have a way to win the game. Uh, interesting attack here. I'm going to, like... It seems like we could trade off for this for a far finder, but I distrust what's going on in their hand. Uh, then again, we have all this stuff in hand, so I almost don't care. They, they It seems like they've got to have something, but they've made some choices that... Um, yeah, I'm going to call. I'm calling... Mike says, wait, I'm going to call. This is usually bad when Mike says this and I do that. <laughs> yeah, it could be that. Um, yeah, all right, maybe I'm being silly. It's three life. You're right. I'm going to be an adult. I just feel like it's it's a bad... I feel like we would have gotten them, but, may, but it's not worth it. Not worth it when we have good plans. We have good plans. Hollow, not quite the land we wanted, but we still get, uh, we do have leeches ready, and we'll have back for more ready next turn, so this is fine. And I like the leech play because it's a single response. It's like, okay, our, our one leech technically trades for your one Vantrasaur, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, it loses its lifelink counter. Oh yeah, we get to eat it. Not even a trade. I guess it's uh, my assumption, yeah, that like maybe they do have something here, but we'll find it out. Now here comes the dead eye. Dead eye felt like a good, a reasonable read. Huh. I wonder, I guess they'll go for the parrot. No, parrot doesn't do it. They'll go for the leech, but then we get to kill it again anyway. Back from war is an instant, so we'll wait on that and just uh, send in parrot here. Yeah, that leech did some work, huh? You can also poach here. Uh, yeah, 
let's just if they come up with any creature we get to back for more with a seven seven seems fine they're looking in their graveyard so it seems like shenanigans oh no it's got death touch that's well we'll change our plan and is it up to up to so we don't have to fight it but we want to kind of kill it we're gonna leech it yeah we'll leech eot instead our plan was to bring back our seven seven but we got to kill the death toucher now wow Yeah, I guess now we're just gonna, um, now we gotta leech the scorpion and we'll just ping the other two. That's fine. I'm doing it this way. I'm just going to ping whatever they block the leech with, and we'll trade Farfinder. I'm happy to trade off Farfinders. Although we do have a poacher. Maybe I shouldn't even trade off Farfinder, because we can get a card out of that. Um, and this is Fancy Play Syndrome. They're going to block it, and then we just ping what they block, and I may as well have an untapped leech. So let's not be Fancy Play about it. We'll say no attacks. We'll play the poacher. And I know we could save back for more, but I kind of... Well, let's see. Can we get both? One, two, three three four almost we can almost do both um why would they double block the leech i'm not gonna give my opponent credit for being oh yeah that right it's bad for us anyway it, it, although at that point yeah exactly there's all sorts of reasons not to be silly about it right so now my question is uh poacher or back for more um mike says poacher now back for more when good target that's fair uh we're gonna spit because we need to clean up these death touchers before we can get in for a big back for more target anyway so since we can't even really get in although uh our our seven seven can get in through these since they can't block it but i still like uh playing it patient here I just don't see the need though Hodge. when we can pick these off for free and we've got a poacher i don't like trading off creatures like, we should just play it slow. Pick them off, pick them off, pick them off. <clears throat> yeah, back for more, if we fought something with Death Touch, we would lose our Death Toucher, so we didn't want to do that. <clears throat> this one's got a lot of stuff on it. We'll start here. And now we'll pick off this one here. Uh, let's see. Cardboard Live is working for me. You might want to try a refresh. Go for blood. Not what we really want. Let's just send in here with everything but the poacher. We're going to eat that rather than trade. I would rather have a card than kill their Farfinder with my Farfinder. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We play this now, save it for a mutate. We have back for more. I'm just gonna hard cast it. Yeah, I like just a 6-6 six, six beater. I think it's overthinking it to try to get 
all mutate with this when we can just win this game here. Um, go for blood. Eh, I'll save it. This is just like good removal now with a 6-6 six, six out and a 7-7 seven, seven on the way. Yeah, it feels like they need a sweeper to not lose. <coughs> Excuse me. No, we had a Starix that was a fiver. All right, two wins, one more, and we have a respectable result that is not bad on the gem. So the two to three is a big one to ease the pain of not finishing as high as you'd like. And then the three to four jump makes me feel like I've basically hit profit. I think James meant on board. We'll keep this two lands and a far finder and a cycling one if we really need to. Might just cycle one up front. We do need to hit land number three, and uh, we're not going for blood anytime real soon. But we can wait maybe until we untap. Although that's interesting because we might actually be able to go for blood that. Still, we have le we got two leeches. We need to get land. Let's uh, let's get a move on here. Well, I'm glad we cycled because we don't have a. Th third land yet, but we do get a naturalist here. That's nice, because that allows us to cast Farfinder if it lives. Well, Farfinder indeed. Uh... Untapped land next turn, we get to mutate... Oh, no, we, sorry, we get to hard cast arcs if we want. If we want to mutate, we need to wait. But we can mutate Parrot. Never mind. Never mind. That's great, though. Finding land fills me with hope. Um, now I kind of want to star X and just mutate onto it next turn. Or we leech next turn. Some good good possibilities here. Ram ram and leech are possible next turn. Uh, ram and mutate are possible next turn. Doesn't naturally have trample, right? Okay. Gotta go with the flyer, although don't love leaving that poacher around. Not a bad sequence. We'll make good use of that go for blood next turn if any of our biggies survive here. Yeah, poacher is sneaky good. Uh, you you realize oh, like oh crap it it they gain life equal to toughness. Oh no, and like oh four toughness. Like I can't just. Prophecy it? Oh, no. 
Nothing in our graveyard to ram through yet here. Um, we're going to try the blood play and the Star X is important. So I'm going to go go for blood Moloch on Poacher and see if we can get that to work. Then if they uh, have something for this, if they have removal, we don't want them to do it on the Star X. That's a huge blowout. They got a lot of open mana. I don't know if there was something I was risking with the Moloch or the Naturalist there, but figured we got to apply pressure while we have it. I don't think we have any more mutates. I think uh, Parrot and Starix were our mutators. Yeah, so there's Clash being uh, medium, right? Well, guess who's coming back for more, friend? My name, we don't even need to. That's the thing. Jeez. I'm going to do Leech because that's the one uh, that can actually win us the game on a crackback because we kill this and crack for five. Oh, right. It doesn't matter anyway. We're going to use Blitz, uh, Blitz Leech. Oh, and yeah, we got to do this. Um, so we don't lose our Naturalist. They get a 4-6, but we don't have to sacrifice. And now we've got a back for more. This is must block, and then we back for more and finish it off. And we can even send in the naturalist here. Oh, it's that's true. Wait, uh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, I forgot the fight part. I, I was just thinking we got it back. I forgot the fight part. So what I'm going to do is um, is go full control. Yeah, there's... Uh, here we go. So we're going to go all attack, two attack, and then do it this way. Sorry, I got fancy play there. Just win, Ryan. Just win. All right, great. Fantastic to do that leap from 250 gems to 1,000. And now we'll try and close in on some real profit. There's that 1,000 gem mark we just hit. This is not a great deck. I know I you know despite uh, James's conclusions, but it's a it's a playable deck with a plan and it uh it goes to sh you know we're 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 managing some wins even after an utterly failed attempt to get into the cycling deck. Like we tried real hard. I tried real hard and didn't work, but we backdoored successfully. So that's almost a, a sad sign for the cycling deck because when you miss it, you can still be okay. Yeah, right. I mean, this this deck has ways to win. It's just like, if I was like, hey, you're going to go to the Pro Tour and your first draft deck is going to be this one. Are you happy? You'd be like, hmm, I don't know if I'm happy. No, but we can try and win. True, Mike. This has been a critical pick to being able to backdoor into it there was a very critical it was like pack one pick three that we took back for more over a cycling one card and it's been a, a big difference maker everybody loves the scorp i guess what are we in, up against here obosh well that's why scorpion is quite good with obosh and we got to be thinking about what we're going to do about Obosh. Probably have to try to back for more it, which means we need to be pretty aggressive on our um, 
cycling we need to find land you know we need to get to our six land um five toughness so bringing moloch back and fighting is not going to do it uh blitz leech would so we could fire prophecy ditz the leech to get us towards being able to back for more it uh but we can do that at instant speed See if there's something better. I'll take one from Scorpion, looking for a better. Although, again, it does get quite good when Obosh is out. But we can take one, and if they don't give us another target, I will prophecy at the end of their turn. I'm glad they're cycling instead of taking the back for more out of our hands. Oh, prophecy goes to bottom. Good call. You are right. Not the um, not the combo I wanted, but I think so. I'm gonna uh, actually I'm gonna cycle the Moloch here. All right, more land is what I really wanted to see, and cycling the worm obviously great as well for it's a better target for the back for more we can fight obosh with it heck we can fight obosh and win with it won't it won't it six Sandworm 7-7 seven, seven fights a 6-5? Why wouldn't it win? All right. Um, I do want to burn this out, but I actually want to cycle first. Hey, all right. We made it to the mana we need to do the plan we have for turn 6. Let's... Get things going in the meantime. We could Poacher now, but I like uh, Fire Prophecy. Mm. Actually, we could Poach, and then if we draw a land, we have a good Fire Prophecy ditch. So, do you like... Is it too greedy to wait a turn, Mike? I'm thinking um, we Bush Meat now. Next turn, we Fire Prophecy, and if we draw a land, we know we can pitch a land. And, uh, yeah, we're at 18, right? We can take it. They're a turn away from Obosh. Like, if Obosh were coming down next, I'd be worried. But I think we can do this. Yeah, exactly. I was trying to use our mana better. I just didn't want to get too low on life. No, I do not accept the trade if they attack. Um, Poacher too good. We got Fire Prophecy for that Raptor. Although maybe we have to trade for that one. All right, we did not find a land, so I'm not, I don't want to fire prophecy away a land. Do we want to fire prophecy away a mammoth? I don't think so. I think we're pretty happy to hit our hand and have all these six drops to cast. So fire prophecy, just, uh, just an expensive bolt here for us today. You want to dump the leech, but the leech kills the other raptor. Like it's just—it's just straight up two for one right here. But they're both good, Mike. I mean, we can get them all. I don't know why we should dump anything. Like dump leech to get a worse card. I mean, we just don't dump anything. That's my plan. Uh. And I'm going to say no, maybe keeping our mana open um, will make them not want to play Obosh because they think like we have a blood curdle or something here. You do it on, our, on my turn. I, you can see I just spoke to why I didn't. Like I thought maybe it even hold them from attacking this at some point, uh, uh, casting this, but... I think with the quality of our hand, we can just uh, trade one poacher, trade the poacher, trade the fire prophecy, and then just go six drop city, and we'll be fine. So I'm going to uh, do that.
Uh, no second green for Mammoth yet. That's a good point. Uh, we'll get there, though. Hey, see? I told you. And I'm just doing this while shields are down. Mike just wanted to hold leech. Yeah, I just wanted to do while shields are down, right? Let's not get fancy. Kill the Obosh and move on. Now, if they can handle the sandworm, look at our backup plan. I'm going to start with the Mammoth, but Moloch's incredible. Oh, maybe I should have just done Moloch because then we do 7-7 seven, seven next turn. I don't know. All looking pretty good for us here. Uh, let's see. One, two. We have seven. If we play this, we have... Uh, we go to four. We add a fifth. Five, we can still Moloch. So we should do Farfinder into Moloch after we attack. Is there another Moloch? Oh, we can do Moloch into Moloch into Worm. That's probably correct. I mean, just the inevitability of that is brutal. Break the chain. Oh, well, they have a chain of their own, but I like our chain better. Once more. It finds its buddy. It's a whole pack of Mollocks. That's because everything has cycling, James. <laughs> We're just thicker than heck here, though, and Oppo agrees that it's getting futile for them. Yeah, escape protocol having cycling would be nice because uh, somebody used it against us to as you know showed us how it could be used for saving your critical cycling payoff creatures because you cycle and save them in response to removal. <clears throat> it's an interesting use of the card, but I still feel like it's a little too narrow for me to get excited about that. Whereas if it had cycling, you could definitely feel like, all right, that's cool, because I, I can save my stuff if I have it or get rid of it if they if they weren't. <clears> hmm, <throat> Not doing anything early here, but we're on the play, and we have Poacher, Starix, Leeches, so I'm going to keep this. I could see drawing a mix of stuff that it could go badly from here, but this is a decent keep. <clears throat> cool, perfect draw. Uh, they might, even if they essence scattered, it clears the way for this other stuff, so I say bring your scatter. Two green, 
We got a lot of green. We got our swamp. Let's get a little extra red, I guess. We have all our colors. That's the main thing. I kind of like the pain land. I don't know if we'd want three naturalists. Maybe we would. I guess we're doing a lot of six drops, so sure, we would probably play three naturalists. But I, I we're also, we weren't short. We, we ended up having enough playables, so I do like that we, our mana base is better. <clears throat> Boo, they got us. Sorry, we got some value out of that card already. Would have been nice to mutate onto it, but I'm probably just going to run this out on five anyway. Uh, we have to block if they've got... What could they have? I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's uh, uh, the, the archer dude after, but I got to try and kill this thing. We, I can't just sit, let him take... Let him draw cards. We got to block. Block. <clears throat> I really don't mind that trade at all. Like we, we, I'm not gonna let an octopus go through and we got rid of a card from their hand, so that's fine. And we're closing in on, I mean, we can just do Porky Parrot here. Um, make him have something again, and then we can mutate onto it, but let's just do it the other way around. We maybe Porky Parrot onto Starks next turn. And we have uh, Blitz Leech. Interesting. Well, ooh, how about uh, brush parrot onto brushwag? What I like about this, so we go brushwag. Oh, well, we do. We don't get our uh, Starx mutate trigger, which would be good. Um, we can leech to kill the two two. We can also leech to try and kill the Grim Dancer with a with a Porky Parrot as well. Mike just wants the leech now. Yeah, I guess we have time. Like, uh, eventually I want to go Leech plus Parrot to take out the Grim Dancer, but we don't... Uh, it, it's okay. We have 21 life. We can take some time to do that. And I'm going to do it on their upkeep. And I guess we can do it on their attacks. It's a... Uh, yeah, we can do it on their attacks. Maybe then we'll consider a block but no, let's the thing is like we can't block this <clears throat> oh that's true it does remove the ability so we can good call good call it won't have any of this stuff so uh we can actually double kill <clears throat> Oh, we can't double kill, right? Because I was going for this thing. Um, but that's fine. We have the other leech for this one. St stick into the plan. Stick into the plan. In my mind, I was targeting many things with the leech. You only get one target, Ryan. And I think this is still the right one. Because we do have a plan for this one. We don't even need the parrot. Like, we can leech this and block it next turn. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I'm going to go wag. <clears throat> and then it looks like maybe we're holding that up. We can even consider a double block here. Nipper's not a problem. We're going to start pinging. Huh. There's an offer of... I mean, we could leech the leech. I'm going to take the offer here. Um... I'm going to brushwag the leech here and see if we can trade. That's fine with me. Now we get to use our leech the way we want to.
Uh, we have eight mana. If we pork Q, we only have five left, so we can't pork and leech. But if we... Uh, if it's actually if it's a basic land, we can. So I'm gonna try it. We either get a dude or like the ability to leech. So that seemed good. Ooh, they've got a pause, but looks like we get there here. That sequence turned out all right. And that's not a bad draw. We'll go ahead and offer the leech here for the otter and then have the sandworm after. I think they have to take the leech for otter. Hmm, maybe not leech for otter. They'll do bonder for for or leech for bonder instead. Maybe. <clears throat> this was our big signal, by the way. The the card that pivoted us fully away from cycling was the Starix. That was like, okay. <laughs> All right, table, fine, fine, fine. All right, check it out. Our failed cycle our failed cycling deck is a 5-1 deck right now. We are indeed rich. We are indeed Rich. I'm rich yes. I ended up 1-2 uh, yesterday in the streamer event. Had a lot of fun. And that was my goal. Just win a match, Ryan. See if you can get one match won. Uh, we've got a cycle on 2, a play on 4, and a possible mutate on 6 or a play on 5. So even though we have a really ugly quad forest here, I think we should keep. Oh, that's ugly, though. Give me anything here besides... Any of the other lands beside or anything, any other card in the deck besides one of these forests, but I think we keep. I played uh, Ham in the first round, Kenji in the second round, and Lola in the third round. Crazy good players. It was intense. You just knew nobody was screwing, just going to make it easy on you and screw up, you know? Except me. I, I, I sometimes made it easy. Hey, Stufan. Here's your answer. I'm going to not cycle the other Moloch. Uh, we have Boar into Starix now. And we can Moloch the Moloch if we find find it um we are clearly facing a cycling deck we will see oh you want to cycle huh the moloch loop is too good well that's what i mean are you are you way behind me mike you want to put two molochs in the yard okay we're just uh out of sync time wise yeah yeah sometimes mike is like a turn and a half behind me and it confuses me
Well, that's a gross looking start. That's not a bad place to try and get to. And Porky Parrot. Boar is a trade here. Porky Parrot says we're going to try and eat. Oh, we can't cast Porky Parrot, so Durr. We'll, we'll cast the spell we can cast. How about that? Look. It's harder than it looks to, you know, read your cards. Well, looking ugly against ye old cycling deck, but um, Starix and Moloch do similar things to this board. Starix is better at saying Marmoset can't attack, but uh, Moloch lets us start down this path. Should just go for the, let's go for the biggest because then maybe they don't have the guts to attack with Marmoset. Uh, I did some of that east when we were looking at um, we were d designing magic online, but honestly, not a lot. I think. Okay, so they're sending Marmoset, but not Thundermane. Probably means that it's not like we're going to get cycled five times. If they cycle four times and beat us, I got to tip the cap. We have to take this and, um, um, yeah, only it only takes one cycle for this block to be a blowout, but it takes four cycles for them to kill us. So we're going to, um, we're going to make them kill us. And they might, uh, but it's the risk I'm taking because in order to have a chance in this game, we need to Starix uh, and Leech next turn. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways they can kill us. I get it. It's just a simple risk a risk reward we're taking to try and uh, try and have a chance to win. So I'm not even I'm not mad. I'm not going to be results oriented. Not blocking was correct. The only way we had to win that game was that they didn't have that cycling sequence. Because it's pretty clear they had the cycling sequence to kill the Starix. So I don't know where we, you know, if we just accept a dead Starix, then what are we doing? We had to, we had to make them have it. They just did. And I'm trying to just fade the cycling deck beats because, you know, it's just the boogeyman and you see it and you hope they have a bad version and when they don't, you lose. <clears throat> no green. It's our most common color, but even if we find it, like, what are we doing? We're going to bore on turn four because we got lucky and found our forest. We got a mulligan this. This is pretty ugly as well, honestly. But I can't throw this back. But what are we doing? Boy, maybe I do go to five. I don't like going to five, but this does not have much going on yeah we ditch the mammoth and then what like if we don't draw a mountain where we lose i think we need to go to five i don't often go to five but london can set you up with a playable hand so let's do it just so so we're gonna keep five and we're gonna ditch mountain for sure because we have a uh, humble naturalist and far finder to to deal with that i think we want to get rid of this Symbiote and keep the bargain. Or we could ditch, um, we could ditch the naturalist and go symbiote, find mountain, and then we're kind of, we're kind of set. I like keeping the bargain because it helps us recover from, uh, ditching fr from, uh, mulling to five. This gets us back in card wise. Um, <clears throat> 
Yeah, symbiote, actually, we don't have a lot of mutate, so let's get rid of the symbiote. I think this is correct. All right, Naturus lived. That's good to see. Now we can far find for our mountain and actually have Moloch next turn and then Dark Bargain to refill after that. Or maybe we Dark Bargain in case there's a Moloch target. Yeah, this is why I did not want to get rid of the Bargain. People, Some people want to get rid of the Bargain, but we had the mana for it and it helps you recover from the Mold of Five. So I didn't think it was, there was no way I was getting rid of the Bargain. I don't think there's any punishment for attacking here. Mike likes bargain next. Uh, basically, if we can find a cycling card to put in the bin, we get extra value out of Moloch. So it could be a draw three. Ooh, well. Boo earns. We didn't have a mountain. Yeah, no Moloch value, but we got to get on with things here. All right, I'm going to hold land. We do need six mana in our deck, obviously, but I think uh, we need to, again, given our mold of five, we need to be trying to convert our non-spells into spells, even if we do at some point need six mana. Back in the day, a 4-4 four, four vanilla for five was... It's never been great, but sometimes you'd play them. All right, I'm doing it. Oh, that's why I was wanted to get rid of lands with the prophecy. It's like, yes, we need six, but we're gonna find them. We are gonna draw our lands. Now we need to find some of our big action. How about that seven, seven? I'll take that. More land, not what I was thinking of when I said that, but Oppo looks like they're maybe stuck color-wise or mana-wise. I mean, they got four. That's a de decent amount, but they're not managing to do anything with it. If we do 12 more damage with a Naturalist and a Farfinder, I might just quick magic. quit magic. There we go. Already, uh, already passed that. All right, hard cast that. Get in with the naturalist first. We do have another uh, burn spell that could pitch this for us, so I'm not going to play it. No, I think we cut the cathartic reunion. And gonna cycle here. We need better action than that. Ugh. Not bad, not bad. I like it. Oh wait, did it get exiled though? No, we didn't. Alright, because we're good.
I'm not even going to look at my graveyard yet. I don't want to tip him off. I forget exactly all what's there, but at least the Star X, right? It seems like they have a handful of removal, so maybe this doesn't get there. But if it's not uh, instant speed, it should still be good for us to bring back Star X. We could bring back Moloch, but doesn't really get enough value. Mike says wait. Eh. Mike might be right, because if this is a... They're black-red. If this is a fistful of removal, we're at least going to want to get our fight value out of this. Yeah, that's what Mike is saying. All right, and, and we're still attacking, right? Oh, now we got Leech, so that's cool. We can Now that's a nice play for the end of their turn if they don't do anything. Let's see if they come up with a two-toughness creature. That would be sweet. But one that costs three mana. This is going to get killed right now, by the way. Blitz Leech down. Oh, really? Pressure, 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 pressure. How many blood curdles do they have? That's a great sign. Says they don't have it. Dead weight. Oh my goodness. All right, well. Shows a little bit of desperation. I'm going to do this now. Let's see. Blitz Leech, is that better? No, Star X still better. Oh, just because no, like like they didn't use removal. Like I, I was wondering how 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 deep are they on blood curdles, snap dacks, blood you know, they, they were using all this removal, and then they switched to here's a chump. That's what I said is desperate. Oppo giving it up with that one. GG Oppo, sorry. Got a little stuck on mana and the removal ran out. Our luck has not run out and we get to play for max win. All right. Yeah, we went on a mold of five, and we almost, you know, we were thinking about keeping that really sketchy six, because then I was like, look, London Mulligan can help you actually make a make a playable hand out of five, and we got there. They even took our Dark Bargain, and we still got there. System trying to find us an appropriately matched battle. All right, let's stay focused and get seven, or at least not punt our way to six. This looks keepable. We've got two cycling cards and a Starix, and we actually like cycling the Sandworm. We've got ways to get it back. So we're up, we're against, up against Loot Tree.
They get eight cards, we get seven. We'll consider cycling the go for blood. It's not going to be used to fight for quite a while, and we do want more mana for this hand. Yeah, I'm going to cycle. And we'll be cycling Sandworm before the untap. Also need, still need uh, black to be able to cast the double leech and the poacher. Well, glad there wasn't a mutate onto the symbiote. The mutations are coming though, be ready. Hmm, saw the symbiote, was going to play that, but we found a far finder even better. We can go fetch that swamp. Just kind of holding our breath, waiting to see what gets mutated upon here. Gl you know, Symbiote and Glimmerbell is all just setting up a mutate. Brace yourselves. Uh, well, it was a good line until, uh, until that porcupine, or porcu, what, por porcu parrot. Now we need us some removal, which we don't have much to deal with, uh, a big old porcu parrot, but we have some, we want, uh, let's see, ram through once we get a big dude out would do it, and back for more. That's our only, uh, uh answers to this, though. Hmm, no symbiote, huh? Well, we could just, since they didn't ping this, we could just, uh... Well, uh, go for blood is here. I kind of like naturalist symbiote, and if they want to spend any resources killing the symbiote, right? They just, we just do that? And if they don't, then we uh, we should be able to get our Star X mutation. Like, we keep both of these. We'll be able to mutate Star X onto something next turn, right? Machine gun time. I forgot about that. Yeah, the bell uh, means, means that for every... They, they basically have three mana. They can shoot down the Naturalist right now, even. So... They go for the yeah. We'll see, we'll see what they want to do here. Okay, they're going for damage, so this gives us a chance because unless they kill the symbiote before our main phase, which they could still do. They can double untap Parrot to kill the Symbiote, but if they don't, we do have this chance to mutate still. All right, so now... If we go for the Mutate, they're going to kill out from under it, but then we get a 6-6, six, six, although we could just have that from a hard cast, so... Yeah, I'm saying they could kill the Symbiote still was my point. Um, what does holding leech up get us, though? We shrink their three four to a one two. Like what? What is? What? Do, what do you want to do with the leech foil? It doesn't kill anything they've got. I mean, it might get loot tree. How do we kill the parrot? It's flying. You know, this this parrot actually flies. 
Oh, is it a? But it's a. It's not a token. It's a. It's just an ability. It doesn't lose flying. So. What is this? How do we find a way to win? I don't think it's mutating the Stark, so they're just not going to let that happen. <clears throat> I'm going to send in the Symbiote and see if they want to kill it. <clears throat> Leech does not do much here, but it's still re more reasonable than just running out the Starks, I guess. Yeah, and if they do... It, but. I don't think they all attack with the frog, is the polywog, unless we were willing to attack with the naturalist, but then we couldn't do the leech, you know? They're trying to decide between board control and just going to our face here. Poacher has summoning sickness, and this thing was not long for the world. Advantage bar strongly in Oppo's favor here. I'm not feeling hopeful about our chances, but we'll keep going. Man, all right, well, we'll try. Although now they can just kill the leech, right? Maybe I was supposed to... Yeah, I did this wrong. I was supposed to block and then leech. It does use up their whole turn, but this isn't... this. W it makes them do it. <clears throat> oh, see, they didn't even want to do it. That's weird. I'm a genius. Why didn't they do that, I wonder? Yeah, maybe they just want a counter spell that they can't lose if they just keep the parrot alive. They must just not care. They might just be like, uh, Porky Parrot gets there. I've got nothing but counter magic in hand. They can't win if I just do that. So I'm actually going to hold Leech and um, then. They don't at least get any counter value here. I'm going to leech this time, Fiddles, and then maybe we try mutating next turn. Let's see what they do here. See if they go for the leech. Or our face. So they're going for it now, but didn't go for it. Yeah, it's got to be counter spells, right? I mean, I could... They have at least one counter in hand. We're going to make them counter the leech and then try the Starix, although we don't have any uh, target to mutate it upon now. It's probably both, Mike, <laughs> right? You wanted a leech there? I... Yeah, I guess. Maybe I was supposed to. I, I just felt like then I wanted to get him with having to counter. I don't think it matters because they're going to counter this. Like, watch this. It, oh, okay. They're not. I guess they're figuring, now nah, they can still kill the leech. Probably didn't counter this just because it's still not anything they have to worry about. I feel Dob. What do we got here? Oh, no, we got uh, Gopher Blood. That could do it, potentially. Potentially. Just have to cast this correctly. Mm, 
I want to figure this out right now. Mike's I I just get too impatient, I guess. Man, we've had them on counter magic. Ooh, maybe they have a deal three here. Maybe they just want to trade. Okay, good. Just looks like a trade, maybe? expect that deck to have this card if I'm honest about it. I mean, come on. All right. You got me, I guess, Oppo. I knew I, I knew we were dead to haste, dude. Maybe we should have kept back the uh, naturalist, but I also just felt like we needed to get them dead, so I was going for it. But maybe maybe the uh, I didn't uh, the mistake there was not calculating the clock because the clock didn't change, so we could have kept the Naturalist back to be safe. Still a pretty good result for a failed cycling deck. I'm, I'm not disappointed here. Yeah, I think I, partly is how I, you know, I play quickly and that bites me. I try to play quickly for stream and then I don't think about stuff like that. There's a 20 extra gem grind for us. All right. Good times. I'm going to call it a stream uh, relatively early for me today. We streamed extra long yesterday and I have a bunch of stuff to do today, including recording a special episode of Limited Resources with Marshall this afternoon. We are going to talk, um, we're going to talk Q selection on Arena. He's been, uh, uh, if you've listened to LR this week, he mentioned uh, talking about the cycling deck numbers, and he kind of conflated two things we're talking about, and we will talk about the cycling deck numbers, but the main topic of the uh, show is going to be Q selection on Magic the Gathering Arena, and uh and answering some questions that came up after the last episode. So I'm going to do that today. Thank you for hanging out. YouTube friends, we'll catch you another time. Have a great one. See ya.